everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and yes, I have a totally new kind of crazy haircut. Uh, I also have for you today a Teach Me to Hit Round 3 workout. So I've done two of these before. It's exactly the same format. We're going to be doing five different exercises for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four times through for each exercise with a warm up and a cool down. Just like the others, uh, this is sort of either a learning to hit or an easier hit than sort of the full blown, very intense workout. So if you've already done some sort of weightlifting yesterday or really hard cardio yesterday, this is a good sort of in between day. I'm going to get my timer ready. You don't need any equipment. Let's get started. Okay everyone, I've got my timer started. We're gonna get ready with our warm up here and the first thing we're gonna do is a walking up and out. So we're gonna take our leg out to the side and then pull it back in and do it on one side and then on the other side of the body. So we're just getting some nice range of motion in through the hips here. And of course, because we're using our legs, which is our largest uh, muscle group in the body, it is slowly bringing our heart rate up and warming the entire body. Each of these warm-up exercises we're going to do for 30 seconds a piece with no break in between. So next we have, we're just going to do a walking stride. And I know sometimes we do this jumping when I feel like doing more of an 80s workout routine. Uh, but we're just going to do the walking for now. When you move your arm up like this, you're also getting sort of a nice stretch through the torso there. So really stretching back and reaching forward with the arm. Next up is toe touch kicks. Uh, always keep in mind if I haven't cued you what the next exercise is, that up in the left hand corner of your screen there, it's going to show you what the next move is so you can always take a peek up there. I'll try and let you know what we're heading into next as well. And in case I forget or get sidetracked. <laughs> So next up, we're going to move into a boxer shuffle. So we're just sort of shuffling our weight side to side, a little bit of a bounce. Um, if you're not supposed to be doing any sort of impact, um, then you could just be doing a slow march here. That would be fine too. a body weight squat. So feet just sort of shoulder width apart and remember with the squat we always start with our bum so pushing it way out back and then squatting down as far as comfortable. We're just warming up so if you're not going very low that's totally fine. Next up we're going to move to a walk through lunge. So we're going to do one on each side of the body. So we go up and then walk right through. And I'll do half the interval on one side of the body. And then we'll switch and do half on the other side. So now is a good time to switch and then do the other side. So again, you're walking backwards and forwards. It's a really big balance challenge. If you need to stop in between, that's absolutely fine. Do that. Next up, we have a torso twist with a knee. So we're going to do one, two, and on the third one, lift that knee. Try to sort of touch your elbow if you can. Just sort of aiming for that. I like workouts where before the uh, warm-up is even done, I'm already starting to breathe heavy. Okay, jog in place. Similar to a boxer shuffle, but you're actually only on one foot at a time. A little more than just hopping side to side. Check from the side. So our next one, we're going to be doing a lunge pulse. So we'll do three pulses on the left and then three pulses on the right. 
Just watch the left leg back. One, two, three. Stand up and switch. One, two, three. Switch. It doesn't matter if you're on the same leg with me. Just switch after three pulses every time. Up next, we have jumping jacks, just regular jumping jacks. It's our last warm-up exercise here. Less than five seconds. Awesome. Go ahead, grab a drink of water, make sure it's close by for the exercises, and we'll go ahead and get started in the routine. Okay, I've got my water nearby, the timer's ready to go. We're starting with a squat jump with a front kick. So watch what I do here. Okay, so I'm going to go down and do a squat, and then kick with one leg, and next time, kick with the other. So remember, these are 20 seconds on, with 10 seconds rest in between, and we're going to do each of these exercises four times. Okay, so for our rest, we're not standing still, we're either marching in place, or doing a boxer shuffle, or jogging on the spot, something. Okay, back into that squat jump with a front kick. Now, if you're trying to keep this low impact, you're just going to squat down and then come up for a kick. There's no reason you can't still work hard just because you're not jumping. Okay, back to that boxer shuffle for a few seconds. Round three. Squat jump, front kick. I'm going to alternate that front kick each time. So make sure you're getting the left leg and the right leg in there. Okay, we have one more of these before we move on. Ready? Here we go. I can tell you that with this new short hair, which I'm not sure if I like, it's nice for working out. It doesn't get in my face. I'm nice and cool. So it definitely has benefits. Okay. <clears throat> Our next was a plank slap. So we're going to be down in a plank position on the ground here. Okay. And we're slapping our shoulder with the opposite hand. So we have to hold this plank for the whole interval. It doesn't feel like much at first, but believe me, it adds up. Awesome. If you can, pop up in between. If you can't, stay down. Okay, so back into the plank slot. If it's um, too challenging from your toes, Drop to your knees, or try a bit from your toes, and then from your knees when you get too tired. The most important thing is to have good alignment. Another break, we're halfway through the plank slaps. Okay, so for good alignment, our bum is down, our abs are tight. There's no real rounding in our upper back. Remember, you can always drop to your knees. Whew. Okay, I think we have one more of these. I think. I think it wouldn't be hard to count to four, but 
when you start working out, your brain can go a little, a little, hmm, how shall we say, not very bright. <laughs> Tend to forget a lot when we're using a lot of oxygen. Perfect. Yes, we are done. Now we're doing sumo squat, jump to narrow squat. So we're gonna stay down in a squat the whole time. So watch me. Okay, so we're wide squat, narrow, wide, narrow, and jump them back and forth. And again, the first few you're like, eh, no problem. But about now in the interval, you're going, okay, I feel that, it hurts. Take your rest. We're gonna need it. I'll show you this time what you can do if you don't wanna jump it. Okay, you don't wanna jump it, you're just gonna come wide and then narrow and walk it. Okay, you can also do this if you've done the jumping and now you're just tired and then go back to jumping when you feel ready. All right, halfway through that one. In fact, halfway through the whole workout right now. All right, so jumping wide and narrow, staying in the squat the whole time. You'll see I'm not lifting up. I'm simply moving my legs in and out. Oh man, that really burns. One more though, just one more. Okay, down, out and in. And now even with short hair, I'm starting to get very hot. <laughs> and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt yet again. Oh boy. Oh, good job everyone. Next one we're down on the ground. We're gonna do four toe touches and then a jackknife. So it's one, two, three, four, jackknife. Now these are really hard, but because the interval is short, we only have to do a couple of them. Whew. Now if you want, you can hop up here. You only have 10 seconds, so be careful getting up and down that fast. And jackknife. Okay, another rest. I'm just gonna lie down here for a minute. Look at my ceiling. Okay, legs up. And jackknife. So remember, it's four crunches. And of course, I can't touch my toes. If you can, that is awesome. I'm very jealous. You're just sort of reaching for those toes. Ah, uh, another rest. I'm so delighted when the rest comes. Okay, I think this is the last one of these. Two, three, four, and drop. And drop. And drop. All right, and up we get. We're done with those, and we're on to our last group. We're gonna do a burpee squat hold. So watch, we're not doing the jump part. So we're gonna kick out and come and hold this squat. Now I tend to like these better than burpees because I don't have to jump up. Sometimes I can get dizzy doing that. But this is really burning the thighs, holding the squat. Okay, you got your 10 seconds rest. Okay, three more groups of that. So do the kick out of a burpee and hold the squat. Just 
Couple more seconds here. Oh! Holding the squat is quite hard. Harder than the kick out part, I think. Here we go again. Now I've got my hood to contend with as well as the long sleeves. Oh, one more, one more interval, I think, and then we're cooling down. Okay. Almost done. You can do it just a couple more seconds here. Oh, awesome job, everyone. We're gonna head straight into our cool down here. As soon as I catch my breath, we're gonna start with our boxer shuffle. So just like the warm up, we're gonna do each of these exercises and or stretches for 30 seconds a piece. No rest in between. And hopefully, our heart rate will drop and we'll be able to breathe a little more easily. Okay, just a couple more seconds here. Okay, now we're going to do a slow or a walking butt kicker. So you're bringing your heel up like it's going to hit your bum. It may not, mine doesn't. Um, but we're just doing it nice and slow. Letting the heart rate really come down now. We're done. We're done the hard part. We did it. You should be really proud of yourself. And now you can say thank you to your body for performing so hard. All right, inside thigh stretch. So lean off to one side. I'm starting by leaning over to my left. Really doesn't matter which side you start on because we will do the other side. Oh, it feels nice to stretch them out. It's amazing how quickly the muscles can get tight. All right, and then just switch over to the other side. So I'm leaning down now on my right. I'm using my hands for a bit of balance here. It can be hard on the knee. So I'm putting some weight for sure into my hands. Just a few more seconds. Next up, we're gonna have a uh, bent over toe touch stretch for the hamstrings. Okay, so stand up, first reach above your head and slowly stretch over. You put your fingertips on the floor. If you can grab underneath your toes and give a bit of a pull, you'll get an even greater stretch, sort of in behind the knee and up through the hamstrings. This is one of my favorites by far. Just a couple more seconds and we're going to move into a quad stretch. Okay, now if you need to for balance, absolutely grab a chair, hold on to the wall, hold on to a friend if someone's working out with you. Okay, I've started with my left leg up. Doesn't really matter, we're going to do the other one too. Make sure your knee is pointing straight down. So you feel that through the front of the quad there and even into the hip flexor a bit. Now we're just gonna switch it up. I have to move sort of slow here. There. I have trouble doing these standing ones as well, especially right after a workout and I've used up sort of all those oxygen stores and my, my body's tired. I just asked it to work hard for 20 minutes for me. So uh, it, it's hard to keep your balance and your focus at the end. Okay, so after this, I'm gonna hop down and do a deep glute stretch. So I'm actually gonna do this lying on my back. You can do it seated or lying. I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left and I'm gonna pull it in. I'm holding behind my leg here, not on top of the knee. I don't wanna hurt the knee joint. 
and this feels lovely in my glutes. They get very tight with all those like jump squats and lunges. And we did a lot of those today. Okay, so now I'm going to switch sides. I'm just bending my left leg over top of my right and then pulling my right leg in with my hands. We just have one stretch left, and it's a full body stretch, so you don't have to get up. You're just going to stretch out nice and long here, hands over your head. And you don't have to hold still this whole time. You can sort of, you know, shimmy side to side, lengthen out, you know, all along your right side, and then lengthen out all along the left side. It can be a nice fluid stretch. It just, it feels so lovely. In fact, I could probably just relax after this and close my eyes and take a little nap. <laughs> Awesome job, guys. You should be really proud of yourself if you've made it through this whole workout. Uh, you did a great thing for your body today. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you know when all the workouts come. And I hope to see you again soon. To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.